I remember vividly the sort of the day that he passed away and he was being kept alive at this point by the life support. And he was starting to sort of um, uh, blow up and his, 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 his heart was starting to fail at this point. Tell us about polycystic kidney disease. Polycystic kidney disease is a range of conditions that cause kidney failure and sometimes liver failure. They're inherited and incurable. And they affect up to about 12.5 million people in the world, about 70,000 in the UK. But the type of polycystic kidney disease that Aaron had was a very rare form. It's called a recessive condition. And that comes about because uh, the two parents of uh, Aaron, in this case, carry a mutation in, in their genes. They themselves don't suffer from the condition, but when they have a baby, when the baby is conceived, there's a one in four chance that, that two of those genes come together and the, the poor child that, inher that inherits those genes has the condition. Aaron was born premature. He was one month premature. He had a whole load of complications, despite what we had come to us um, with the birth. Um, I remember getting a text from my brother, and it was about uh, three in the morning, I think, and he said, congratulations, you're an auntie. And I'm like, oh, wow, great, over the moon. And then it came crashing down the next day when I spoke to the family, and they said, look, Aaron's been born with this kidney condition. At that time, we didn't, I don't think we'd even heard polycystic kidney disease. Um, I certainly hadn't. I just knew that he was poorly. And he said, it's really serious and he's only got a day to live. I'm like, oh God, what? How, 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 do you do, how do you deal with that? You know, that sort of thrown in your face, like, And this whoa. is your brother's first child? With yeah, his, uh, with, with Laura, Laura, yeah, my brother, yeah. And, my brother and Laura's first child together. Um, and so, you know, as soon as I could, I was up in Scotland where, where Aaron was born and he survived the day and it was, um, then it was like a week, so it was like, get up, get up there, come and, come and see him before, you know, he leaves us. Um, so I was there and you just, you can't imagine it. When you look back at pictures of him and you just think, oh, don't do this to this beautiful, beautiful little boy. Um, and Aaron kept fighting and kept, making these milestones and proving everyone wrong and I was I was like yeah come on come on you little fighter show them don't don't listen to them and he had so much love and good energy around him he had he, he overcame so many things just through those first few days of um, his existence um, obviously we had no idea what polycystic kidney disease was um, googled uh, my mum got in touch with you first of all and then I was the one that was really on the bandwagon then. I was like, come on, I need to know more, I need to know more. And um, we found out as much as we could about polycystic, polycystic kidney disease. Um, with the help of, with yourself, you know, um, you've been a, you were such a great support and, and just giving us some knowledge that we just had no, no idea about. We'd never heard of this. Um, but Aaron, stepping aside from that, the polycystic kidney disease for Aaron, it, his kidneys were still functioning, but they were full of cysts, which basically had a knock-on effect on the rest of his internal organs. So that was where the problems really came in. So his lungs would collapse and fail and, 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 and all these other things. And all he knew was to fight for life. And it just brings your own life into perspective. When you think, God, you struggle. And I've, you know, I've had my ups and downs through this journey that we call life. and. Um, I've had some great times and I've had some crashing times and and just looking at this little boy just fighting for life. That was all he knew was to survive. And it was his heart that was so strong that mm -hmm. that really sort of um, powered him through 
And I think the great energy and the the belief behind him, certainly from me, I was like, come on, keep going, keep going. And he did keep going. And um, and I was, I was speaking about it yesterday and it's, through Aaron's life, it's, yeah, he had all these trials and operations and, and massive challenges that he fought through with such bravery. But he was in a lot, a lot of pain throughout, throughout his time with us. Um, but when he came out the other end, he was just like, ah, ah. And I remember walking him in a park just like this, and it was a sunny day, and it was just me and him. And I was walking, pushing the pram, his, his um, posh pram. Did you, did you see his pram? He had a really posh, old-fashioned pram. It was beautiful. beautiful. Um, and I was walking through the, the park with him, and he was just reaching up, and he was grabbing, grabbing the branches of the trees. And he was just like, his face was just delighted. He was just smiling, his eyes were just shining. He was just a shining light. So when he wasn't in, and he was in oxygen at that time, so the oxygen canister would be under the pram, but he was smiling and grabbing these branches. And you just, oh, it's just incredible. And, you know, I just remember, I remember vividly the sort of the day that he passed away and he was being kept alive at this point by the life support and he was starting to sort of um, uh, blow up and his, his, his heart was starting to fail at this point um, or was failing and he looked at me in his eyes and he just he was tired he was tired it was like he was, it was like it's time it's now time. yeah and what a lifetime people say oh what a shame he passed away such young at 14 months but I don't know many people that's got a legacy like he has and in, in a light in a, if you look at years, you know, in, in, in many, many years. And so all I can do is, is continue on with his legacy and, and do all I can. And that's why I support our charity, the Adam Brown Rainbow Foundation, so much.